this lesson we will be studying about how to check if a number is divisible by certain numbers like 2 3 4 6 8 9 11 these are the major divisibility rules so let's start with divisibility rules of powers of 2 that is 2 4 8 16 we can extend the rule but we would not feel the need of going beyond 8 or 16 in that case right most of us would be aware of the rule so let me quickly run through down rule of 2 is a number divisible by 2 you just check the unit digit that is the last one digit if that is divisible by 2 the number is divisible by 2 in other words it just says that it needs to be an even number the unit digit needs to be 2 4 6 8 0 right I am not spending time rule of 4 very similar but now last two digits so I need to take a two digit number Remember, right? The tens and the units as they co as they are placed side by side. Just take this as a two-digit number and check the divisibility of that by four. If it is divisible by four, the number is divisible by four. And rule of eight: last three digits, right? Last three. Last, I mean by the rightmost, right? So that is a three-digit number made up of hundreds, tens, units in this format itself, right? Hundred tens unit. This three-digit number, if it is divisible by eight, the entire number however long it may be it just depends upon the last three digits right you can extend it you have seen it 2 4 8 16 would be last four digits i said we don't need to use it right now what is the value add that i could do here rather than think of these as divisibility rule you could also find remainders when divided by 2 to the power n find remainders when divided by 2 to the power n so what i mean is use the same rules last digit divided by 2 find the remainder remainder is 0 remainder is 0 means the number is divisible this entire big number you want to find the remainder when divided by 2 just focus on this ignore the entire number this when divided by 2 leaves a remainder of 1 that means the number is obviously not divisible. Forget not being divisible. We also know the remainder. Right? Let's apply it out over here. We are checking rule of 4 now examples. Last two digits. If I have not mentioned earlier or you are not aware of. 0 is a number which is divisible by every natural number. So two zeros, 0, 0. Is it divisible by 4? Yes, it is divisible by 4. Right? Or else when you are saying divide these 2 by 4, the remainder is 0. There is nothing left over. There is nothing left to divide. So the number is divisible. You want to check the remainder when this big number is divided by 4? Focus only on the last two digits. Right? So divide this last two digits by 4. We see 4 13s are 52. So the remainder is 0. And if the remainder is 0, the number is divisible. Big number again, ignore, focus on 75 divided by 4. We find that the remainder is 3. 4 18s are 72. 3 will be left over. That's the idea of a remainder. So the number obviously is not divisible, but I have more information. I also know the remainder. Hope you have got the idea of it, right? Just as two zeros, any number ending with three zeros, whatever that number may be, will definitely be divisible by eight, right? And since it is divisible, the remainder is zero. Let's take here, ignore everything other than the last three digits divided by eight. So when you are dividing, eight nines are 72, four, four carry over, eight fives are 40. Oh, there is a remainder of two. So there is a remainder and obviously that means it is not divisible. Right? Once you know the remainder, this is just to, uh, you know, since the topic is divisibility rule, I am writing it out there. Again, last, divided by 8, 8 uh, sevens are 56, a carrier of 4, 8 six are 48, completely divisible. That is remainder 0, the number is divisible. Hope you get the idea. All the rules, I would just briefly mention in the if you have forgotten what is the rule, but I would be focusing on how to find the remainders. The divisibility rule of powers of 5, 5, 25, 125, 625 works identical to the rule of 2. So if I want to check for divisible, whether number is divisible by 5, I check the last digit, single unit digit, whether it's divisible by 5. 
I want to check if a number is divisible by 25, 5 square 25. I check the last two digits, a two digit number formed by the tens and the unit digit and check whether it is divisible by 25. Same for 125, you will never have to use 125. Once in a decade that question might come is the number divisible by 125 type and the rule is 125 is 5 cube. So the last three digits, right, the 100, tens and units forming a three digit number should be divisible by 125. And we have extended our rules to find the remainder as well. The remainder works this way. You are checking remainder by 5. Take the single digit. Ignore the rest of the digits. Divided by 5. The remainder is 3. So the number is not divisible. Take the single digit. Ignore the rest. Divide by 5. 5 divided by 5. The remainder is 0. And hence the number is divisible in another sense. Checking by 25, last two digits, last two digits should be divisible by 25. So the last two digits have to be either a 25 or a 50 or a 75. And don't forget the 00, 00 as well. 100, right? 00, 00 is a number which is divisible. This 75 divided by 25, remainder is 0, the number is divisible. Here it is 65. When I divided by 25, the remainder that I get will be 50. 25 twos are 50, left over 15. So the number is not divisible, it will leave a remainder of 50. For 125, last three digits should be divisible by 125. Divisible means should be a multiple of 125. What are the multiples of 125? You need to be very thorough with this, right? 125, 250, 375 and 25, that is going to be a 500. After 500, you'll have a 625, a 7. 50 and a 875 or else a 1000, right? All three zeros would mean that the number is divisible by zero. Coming back here, just take three digits. All three are zero divided by 125. The remainder is zero. The number is divisible. 375, it should immediately strike. Oh, 375 is a multiple of 125. When you divide by 125, the last, ignore the rest, right? The remainder is zero. The number is divisible. 625, don't, don't be very careful about the numbers. 375 is a multiple. 625 is a multiple. When you divide by 125, 125 phi is a 625. The remainder is 50. So the entire number, when you divide by 125, the remainder will remain as 50, right? So it's identical.